Hi everyone, and welcome to Jane Talks Trek, where I'll be talking about and reviewing an episode of the original series, The Next Generation, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, or Enterprise. Today I'm looking at Dawn from Enterprise's second season, or as I like to call it, that time Enterprise pulled an arena. This episode was requested by me. Yep, that's right, today is my birthday, so as a present to myself, I'm going to cover an episode that I love from my favourite Star Trek. So let's get going. We begin the episode with Trip on a shuttle by himself testing the autopilot upgrades, when Archer warns of another ship approaching, which fires on him, causing him to crash. And into the credits we go. Hoshi tries to get in touch with Trip, but both ships are gone, and sensors can't detect which of the 62 moons Trip crashed on. We'll scan every moon, even if we have to do it with binoculars. Trip patches himself up and tells the computer he's not going anywhere anytime soon, but he plans to repair the transceiver to contact Enterprise. But it's kind of cold and there are noises in the darkness. He goes to investigate, only to be attacked, so he hides in the shuttle, but discovers the transceiver is gone. Enterprise runs into the Arconians, who are cranky about people in their space, and they're not a fan of the Vulcans either. He orders them to leave, but Archer refuses to go without Trip, and suggests they help one another find their missing crew. But the guy says Trip is probably dead, but of course he's not. Instead, he's sneaking around in the bushes where he discovers a laser and his missing transceiver, so retreats for now, because he has no way to communicate. The alien is struggling with the transceiver when he hears Trip's voice in the distance, and he goes towards it. So Trip steals back the transceiver while the alien realizes he's been tricked and heads back to his ship setting off his own trap, alerting Trip, who runs to hide, and the pair get into a fight. Nice to meet you too. The alien shoots him, so he wakes up a prisoner, but they can't understand one another. I can't make it work. It's broken. You know, broken. But Trip thinks the alien wants help with his repairs. Kushka! Kushka to you too! And he convinces him to untie him. So far, there's been no luck finding Trip, and T'Pol explains that the Arconians are kinda dicks, so to be careful. Trip sets about the repair work and accidentally swears in front of the alien, who assumes that's his name. So Trip corrects him, and the alien introduces himself as Zokan. Trip asks for water, so Zokan gives him a bottle which tastes like shit, so he asks for water from his ship, but that's a no from Zokan. Trip cuts himself so Zokan spits on it to make it better and sets him back to work. I can't fix this thing. It's a lost cause. No, maybe if you bomb it on it, it'll fix itself. He wants to show Zokan something and sprays him in the face to gain the upper hand. Uh, same to you. While T'Pol tells Archer that daytime on the moons will be too hot to survive, so they need to find Trip quickly. Trip ties Zokan up. Don't give me that look. You started this. And gives him some food, which he spits out. But Trip makes some headway with Zokan's language and says he can use both transceivers to make one working one. You think that's funny? But it seems to work, sort of, and he says they need to get it to higher ground, which will take both of them. He throws away his weapon as a peace offering and unties Zokan, who immediately attacks him, and they wrestle around with Trip getting the phaser, but not for long as they punch each other until the pair exhaust themselves, and Trip goes for the phaser again, only to throw it away. We can fight some more if you want. Or we can try to get the hell out of here. Working together, they get the transceiver to higher ground, and Hoshi picks up the signal. Ooh, hi there. I am okay with what's on screen right now. Anyway, Trip reports that Zokan is worse in the heat than him, and helps him with his drink as the sun comes up, and you don't want to move out of the way a little? Find some shade around the other side? No? Okay then. Trip tries to keep Zokan awake, but they're out of water. However, Hoshi gets in touch, and Trip says to hurry up. Archer wants to beam them up, but Phlox warns the sudden temperature change will kill Zokan, so Trip refuses to be beamed up without him, and talks them through how to modify an Arconian ship to come to rescue them. But don't you fancy beaming some supplies down in the meantime? Some water? Maybe a couple of those big floppy hats? The transceiver gives out, and Trip tells Zokan about his adventures, referencing cold front, broken bow, precious cargo, and unexpected, and says he doesn't regret the journey, just as the Arconians come to rescue them. 
Both captains make sort of peace with each other, which Paul commends. You managed to establish better relations in a single day than the Vulcans have in a century. And Trip goes to see Zokan, who says that he's thankful that he didn't destroy Trip's shuttle. Well, no surprise, I freaking love this episode, and it flip-flops with Acquisition as being my favourite. You know I love me some Trip, and there were so many great lines that I couldn't include all of them. Most of season 1 and 2 of Enterprise has this light-hearted humour throughout, which is why I prefer it to season 3 and 4, and why I love the show as a whole. The story isn't hugely original, it makes me think of Darmok and of course Arena, further cementing my opinion that Trip is a more awesome Kirk. But the episode works because Trip is so damn charming and I love him. No episode of Star Trek is perfect, and I had a few logic questions about this one, but it doesn't stop it from being an absolutely fantastic episode that I never get tired of watching. So there you have it. That was Dawn. If there's an episode of Star Trek you'd like me to cover, pop it down in the comments below or come say hi on social media. If you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button, it really does mean a lot, or consider subscribing if you want to be assimilated into my channel. Alternatively, feel free to check out my other YouTube channels. Thank you so much for watching, I'll speak to you soon, and live long and prosper!